Hey guys, this is Stu. Just thought I'd do a further update on the Thomas Amsel Gruber Tiger 1 build I'm doing at present. As you can see, I've come on quite a bit since our last update. Uh, basically got all the back plate in position and installed the two exhaust stacks which you see here and built them up. They were quite a build in themselves to be honest with you. Um, not the easiest. But we got there, and also the jack itself is a kit in itself, and uh, if anybody hasn't built a dragon kit before, be warned, you are going to have to build every part of this up. Um, but having done one previously, I knew what to expect. But getting it into position was an absolute nightmare, but I got there in the end. Um, also I've installed the two rear mud guards, and if you notice under here you've got the crank handle, and you've also got the drive shaft um, plate. Now they used to basically put that into the main drive shaft at the back of the vehicle here. Add the crank handle in and just crank the engine up until it started. Yeah, well, it's quite a bit backward considering how advanced this tank was, but there you go. Um, also on the side, I've actually got the side armour on now with the Zimmerit. And that's looking really effective. Uh, as well as on the other side. And uh, that is basically where we're at. And also I've installed the main uh, fuel tanks and coolant fans, which used to keep the engine cool. Um, and if you've noticed, I haven't actually bothered putting on the etched brass covers, which actually go over the actual fan blades themselves. Reason being, guys, this thing is going to be buttoned up. And if you notice on my earlier build, which is the early version of the Tiger, once you've got the grills and everything in place, you're not really going to see anything, so there's not much point. Okay, and if you notice, the setup on the back of the mid version is entirely different to what you've got in the early version. Specifically, these two filter system tanks, um, they were omitted, and I think they were built internally on the mid version. So there you go. Uh, so basically that's where we're at on this stage of the build. Um, also another thing I wanted to point out, particularly on this kit 6700, which if anybody knows is the Tiger 1 mid-production with Zimmerit, um, there is a slight slip up in the instruction sheet and it's something I came across whilst I was doing it this afternoon. When I got to the stage of actually building the back of the... Um, fan blades etc and positioning them in if you notice on this one is completely flush now if you go on a bit further and this isn't even pointed out in the instruction stage because that is basically the the um, assembly stage of that and that's it when you get to actually putting the upper hole and the front plate on if you notice you've got the top of the radiator grills completely different as though they've actually got part of the mechanism on now, for some unknown reason, they have omitted these. And I know that because basically I've got a photograph of the other Tiger that came out earlier this year, 6730. And if you notice, that does have the top of the radiator grill, uh, which is rather annoying and frustrating, particularly if you wanted to show the interior detail of the tank was being maintained in the diorama. Now the only reason I was doing that was basically referring to how this was positioned because um, it actually sits flush next to that. On this kit, and which I referred to the sprue trees, um, it, that part is on sprue G. Now sprue G has been omitted from this kit so I thought I'd better point that out to you guys. Okay. Um, so if you come across it and you think, oh my god, they've forgotten to put it in the kit. No, they haven't. They have actually f didn't intentionally put it in here. Why? I don't know. But for me, that is rather annoying. So Dragon, if you're watching, please in future, if you're going to re-release this kit, put sprue G in please. Okay. So basically, that's that. I thought I'd let you know on that, guys. Anyway. That's as far as we're going to get at the moment. Um, next update will probably be later in the week, possibly at the weekend. Because um, I'm not going to let a lot more time on the workbench now until from now until Thursday or Friday. 
So until then, get kit crazy, happy modelling, and I'll speak to you soon.